Good morning, everybody. Hello, and welcome to this morning routine. I wanted to do um, a morning routine video. I don't, you guys, you guys know, I don't usually do routines and things like that on my channel, um, but I do like them. They're just a little heavier to edit with voiceovers and things like that. So I kind of did this so I could do half of a voiceover and half talking to you like I normally do. Um, so welcome to my morning routine with a six week old baby. <laughs> Um, when I was filming this. How it has been six weeks, I do not know. Time passes so quickly. But this is our routine that we are starting to develop. Now something I do with my babies is I kind of let them develop their own rhythm. I don't really try to put them on my own routine. Um, I'm very much a let's adapt our life to the new baby schedule in a way but at the same time baby adapts to our schedule as well so um, I kind of just let things flow for the first few weeks and then eventually a predictable rhythm starts to emerge and so now we're at the point where that predictable rhythm has emerged and so far that looks like sleeping for our stretches about at night and then at about 9, between 8.30 and 9.30 in the morning, I would say he is ready to wake up and start the day for a little bit and have his first wake window. So usually I will sneak off and go to the bathroom really quickly and Cody is usually gone by now. And the big kids have often come in and whispered good morning and given me a kiss and then off they go to start their own breakfasts. And then when Zag is ready to get up, I will nurse him and we will kind of just get ready to begin the day together. Now sometimes he will fall asleep after this nursing session, but usually he is awake and ready to start our morning. Um, it's funny how adaptable babies are, right? They just get used to the rhythm already and it's been lovely. I would eventually like to move my own wake up time earlier, um, but right now, again, my focus is just mainly on rest. And only being six weeks postpartum, I'm still juggling that it's time to start getting back into normal routines, but also still honoring my body and honoring the need for sleep and rest. Eventually, I want to start waking up when he goes down for his last st stretch of sleep. That's usually between 6.30 and 7.30 in the morning. So something I've started doing that is really helpful for me is I put him in the bouncer in the morning in the bathroom. I have a bathroom bouncer. <laughs> Highly recommend it. Um, and I will just quickly do my own get ready routine. So I'll wash my face. I will pop on a tiny bit of makeup because I don't know. I don't usually wear makeup. You guys know this, but I just started wearing like three products. Um, my normal three. I just started doing like just a very minimal makeup look just to make myself feel more awake. It's just giving me a little bit of a pep in my step. Um, I've been making a lot of content lately between Instagram and um, even TikTok and here obviously. So it just makes me feel like a little more put together. Um, I'll put on deodorant and things like that first thing and just take like five minutes to get myself ready. And sometimes I don't even have to do my hair. Like my hair can be a mess, but my face looks more put together and I just feel better and so this is something I've started doing and it helps me keep up with my three kids. It all just depends on if this little guy is going to give me, you know, 15 minutes to get ready or only five. Um, so sometimes I'll do my hair, sometimes I won't, but I'm a very no-nonsense, kind of very minimal type of lady, so my routine is incredibly quick. I literally use three or four products and that's it. Today was a loungewear day. I keep getting asked where my loungewear sets are from. This is from Levine Rose. It says, see the good in all things, 
I've already got spit up on it, excellent. I should say though, they're super nice and I love that they actually fit me properly because I am 5'11 and finding lingerie that actually fits and is not flood pants is difficult. So thank you Livy and Rose for being made for tall people. <laughs> So once I am all ready, I will quickly get dressed. I have this blanket that I keep on my bedroom floor um, where his little nursery nook is. And I will lay him there just to get some body work time where he can stretch and feel the floor. You know, this is where he develops all of his important things like learning to roll and things like that eventually. So I will use that time to quickly get dressed. Um, my closet is just behind the camera here. And then I go ahead and I change his diaper and I get him dressed for the day. This is when we switch to cloth diapers and put his outfit on. And usually the kids will come visit me and come visit him. And they will hear that he's awake and say good morning to him. And then by this time we are all ready to head downstairs for the morning. So again, this morning we slept in a little bit, but that's okay. Again, trying to give myself lots of grace right now. Um, not trying to stick to a schedule, but more so a rhythm. When I go down, I wake up the house, and the first thing I do is start the process of making my coffee. Oh, I'm going to play that instead. I drink a bit of a bougie coffee in the morning and so it's a few extra steps but it makes me feel good and nourishes my body so I get that started while I eat some breakfast or at least get my breakfast ready I can't hear you honey I actually got these <laughs> breakfast burritos from Costco they're not the worst things in the world like I'm not usually an instant food person but sometimes in the morning I'm really relying on pre-made stuff and I'm not quite back to doing my full um, meal prep and bake ahead and cook ahead of the schedule kind of routine yet. Um, so Grayson here has been such a dear and he has been very keen on making me a breakfast burrito in the morning and we'll just like pair it with some fruit and he's so eager to be like hey mom I'm, I'm gonna make your breakfast don't worry about it. Such a sweetheart and I'm so lucky to have so many helping hands because you know babies only tolerate being put down for so long. So Grayson was just doing breakfast up for us and making our breakfast plates while I made coffee. Mackenzie does not eat these, so she was making an entirely different thing. And also sometimes she's like a She's like me. She likes to stay up late, but she also likes to get up early, and that's a struggle sometimes. So if she wakes up early, she'll have already eaten everything by now. Uh, Grayson has been sleeping in a little bit more. Okay, does everybody know what they're working on for school this morning after breakfast? So after kitchen time, we move over because he's about ready for a feed again at this time. And he's starting to get sleepier at this point. So I just try and shove food in my face while he nurses. And I collect all my pump parts and bring my pump over. Put my pump back together, I should say. My go-to combo for quick breakfast in the morning is just something with protein in it and then some fruit usually, and then I'll drink my pro-metabolic coffee. Makes me feel good, makes me be able to produce lots of milk. So important to nourish yourselves, moms. So important. Gotta nourish us, because we're nourishing everybody else. So during this time, this takes a little bit of time, so I just kind of take this time slow, I nurse him, I eat my breakfast, 
and then I've been trying to work this pump schedule into my morning trying to add a pump session into my morning Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog officially face to face. I would have been doing voiceovers <clears throat> for this portion or so far into the vlog. Um, so normally right now is the time where I nurse him again. I sit down, I eat my breakfast and I pump. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I can sit down and I can pump fully. And sometimes he just wants to nurse and fall asleep depending on how tired he is. He goes for his first nap around 10, 30 or 11. And we slept in today. Him and I slept until about nine. Um, I haven't started consistently waking up at like, you know, before him. Um, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Eventually I would like to start waking up at like seven or 7.30 or after his like last feed of, the, of his night um, and then have him stay in bed while I get ready, practice yoga and do my breath work, things like that. Um, and then be able to pump probably, but yeah, we'll see. For those curious, I am pumping for donation. So I just, I am playing with adding a pumping session in the morning. So far the milk that I've collected is all from my haka. So I've got a decent stash from my haka. Um, until this point and now I'm starting to pump which I figured out how to pump properly I couldn't get any milk out for like a couple days. I was like what the heck um, And then I learned a method that works for me with a manual pump. So yeah, it out. This can happen. yeah, it said it had music. So anyway, if you're curious I will show you with a manual pump again like I just started pumping and then I gave up because he wanted to nurse and snuggle and probably go to sleep um but the method, I looked it up and I was like looking at different methods and the method that works for me because I couldn't get any milk out is to do like a, a mock suckle pump. So you do like 10 quick pumps like this, like a suckle. And then at the end you hold it for like 10 seconds and then you release and you get like a bunch of milk. So that is the only way that I can get any milk out. Um, so far I have one like kind of overproducy boob so I just have been pumping off that one in the morning because that one's the most full I don't know I don't want to like permanently stay lopsided so slowly I'm gonna start pumping on the other side too but yeah anyway um I just figured this time I would since I have a abundant milk supply I would try to pump and donate some because you know there's formula shortages right now and it's just hectic out there so um, if I have a lot of milk, then I figured I could just take a little bit of extra time in my day and donate. But obviously he gets first dibs. So I'm trying right now because I block feed. So I'm trying to just block feed, like block pump too. So I'm trying to just keep the pump session on one side so that I'm not pumping just for milk. And I don't want to switch him because I want to make sure he's getting the hind milk too and the, pump, and the hind milk's not just going to the pump as well. So... I don't know. I'm figuring it out. It's a learning curve for me. I've never pumped before. I've never expressed milk at all. Um, the Haka is a lovely godsend. But yeah, I've only always exclusively breastfed. So this is a new experience for me and it's interesting. It's going well though. Right now the kids are doing their school. Right now we're still kind of like in middleman land with school. Like we have, we're doing a lot of online. So I, um, Put them into like we subscribe to an online school program and they are doing online school and then we do little slowly we're adding in bits and then probably either this week or let's be honest probably next week i will get more organized and we will start curriculum again like our curriculum but we are like i still say we're unschooly and we're unschoolers because 
we don't follow anything to a T. We never have. We take what we like, we leave what we don't. If the curriculum doesn't feel good that day, we don't do it. If like we dabble, um, we're very like interest led and interest pursued. And that still counts as unschooling because it's not following a specific pattern. A lot of people think that unschooling is just like not ever doing anything and your kids don't learn anything. Um, and some people do it like that and that's to each their own. Um, but this kind of schooling is also unschooling. Um, most unschooling parents put a lot of effort into making, giving their kids learning opportunities. So yeah, this is how we're balancing it right now. It's a little bit of a juggle, but we're learning and I'm just trying to give myself grace for not getting up early in the morning and like honoring my body and getting enough sleep. And eventually I'll start waking up early again, but yeah, right now it's 1037 and this is what our morning looks like. So he'll have his nap soon and then I can probably sneak in a quick yoga session if I can finish pumping before he wakes up. We're having a really spit up -y day today. I don't know why, I already had to change his whole outfit. I think it's because he's trying to overcompensate. My supply is really heavy today, which is why it's for so I can pump. But he's trying to drink it all on his own, which is probably why I'm not getting as much in my pump because he's like, I'll drink it and he's struggling. <laughs> Okay, it's really hard to show you guys everything in the mornings. Well, just in general, because there are so many little bits that happen in between the camera filming. Um, yeah, he's spinning up a little bit more this morning than normal, like a lot more than normal. Um, I think just because he's trying to, again, overcompensate and our morning, you know, filming makes things slightly, like I had to pause and like put things start the camera instead of the tripod just all those little interruptions can all those little interruptions can definitely affect um his routine at this point in the morning now so i just did a load of laundry i try and do one load of laundry every morning i try and complete the entire load put it in the wash dry it and fold it and put it away so today is diapers i'm doing diapers but i'm kind of backed up on laundry i have another one or two loads to do today anyway but Monday's kind of like my catch-up laundry day anyway, so that's what I'm going to do today. He needs to go down for his nap, so I'll try and get him to go down for his nap. We're starting to, like, he doesn't have a routine yet, um, but he has developed his own rhythm, and I am trying to just learn his rhythm. I'm not trying to make him adapt to my schedule at all. Um, he Babies will naturally kind of adapt to the rhythm of the family, so I just keep up our family rhythm and then I'm just trying to get also like figure out when I'm, I've almost have it nailed down. He usually sleeps between, you know, he had a little cat nap, but he kept waking up because I had to put him down to try and pump. Um, so we're usually about 10.30, he'll go, 10.30, 11, he'll go first for sleep, but he only had like a 20 minute nap. So I know he's gonna fall asleep in the next few minutes here. And then that will probably say going into his biggest nap of the day, which I get like, you know, a good two, three hour nap out of him during the afternoon. Yeah, you're tired now. <clears throat> yeah so I'm gonna try and do that but usually in the morning I'll put in a load of laundry and I will sit down and I'll answer as many comments as I can on YouTube I'll try and catch up I try and answer all my comments so in the morning I usually come up here with like coffee or something um, now I've already finished my coffee because my routine has changed a little bit and so I will just kind of sit with him and try and answer some comments while he's napping and in between um, I'm going to try and finish my pump session that I never really got to finish. Um, the nice thing about breast milk is breast milk can stay at room temperature for four hours. So I have a pretty good window of like finishing that pump session before I have to go put it away in the fridge. So that is nice. But I think that's it. That pretty much wraps up our morning routine because we're about to go into lunch. Um, the kids have done school this whole time, by the way. They just finished their school day. Um, while I was changing his outfit, uh, we were, the, both the kids were up here again because I just like, he threw up and I had to change him. I didn't bother to turn on the camera. Um, both the kids came and while I was changing him, they checked in, showed me the schoolwork they did. They 
just had our like little morning chat to like that's the other thing too is like I can't I've interacted with the big kids several times this morning but you guys obviously didn't see any of that I don't think I don't know how many I caught on camera um but like they came and snuggled into bed with me this morning when we first woke up and then before I turned on the camera and then I went to the bathroom and then I came back when I <laughs> and turned on the camera and then laid with him until he woke up because I knew he was stirring and starting to wake up. So it's little things like that that's just like hard to film that's missing out of the morning routine. But yeah, uh, the kids have done all of their school today. Normally when we're doing full curriculum, I will need to be at the table in the morning too. Um, we'll extend our school day further into the afternoon probably for the first little bit until we have a really established routine. And until he like goes down for naps but we're still way too early in the game for that and so we just accommodate and do what we need to do for now so yeah that's our little morning routine hopefully I don't even know like what if it was even interesting because I feel like my mornings are just so busy that I, I feel like nothing gets done but the morning passes anyway you know so the kids are done school and then during the weekdays on school days they get two hours of game time to take whenever they choose um, so normally lately what they've been doing is finishing their school in the morning then 11 30 12 o'clock they will go do their game time and sometimes they choose to split it up depending on when their online friends can play and sometimes they take it all at once so my only thing is like you're responsible for your game time um, like you need to set your timer to remind yourself when it's time to hop off and go do a different activity So they set their alarms on Google and things like that. Mackenzie does it on her phone And they will take their game time right now So I kind of get this time where he'll go down for a nap. I can answer comments I can film a little bit. I can kind of just like do some puttering around where I don't really have um, Any kids with me at the moment. Well, if he falls asleep, we'll see but yeah this is my little morning routine. I hope you enjoyed. I'll film more of these because our morning is going to change so drastically and quite quickly because as soon as you nail down one routine, your baby changes and it's time to readjust. So um, yeah, this is my morning routine with a newborn <laughs> right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, can I reach that? Sweaty. Hold on. It's hot up here. Ma is a sweating.